the police come. <laughs> oh, that is the police. Well, we made it back home with the car. She's running good, so we're going to take it out on the rip real quick and see how it does with the nitrous, but that'll be in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you guys. Hell yeah. Welcome back everybody. So the plan is, is we're gonna take the Crown Vic and we're gonna put it on the pads over here. But before we do that, I figured I'd go ahead and do a little bit of an investigation on this engine to see if I could figure out why we had lost some horsepower. So if you've watched the last video where we had a dyno, we've lost 50 horsepower from when we initially put the engine together. So I wanted to go ahead and be sure that nothing's actually hurt and that it was just a change of the headers or maybe it's just because it was a warmer day or a combination of the two. I wanted to go ahead and make sure it was just something like that and not something wrong with the engine. But if you watched the last video, you also know that we had a weird sound when we were cranking with no fuel. Like if we were just cranking it with a no start crank trying to diagnose something, it sounded like it was a dead cylinder. So I figured I'd go ahead and tear it apart real quick, just see what I could see, see if I see anything obvious. And if not, then I guess we'll do a big second gear burnout. So I went on ahead and jumped right into it though. I've got one valve cover taken off in the exhaust. And so far, everything's looking pretty clean. There's no play in any of the rockers, except for what you would expect. Just a little bit here and there, side to side. And everything looks clean. I don't see any metal anywhere. It looks very clean, to be honest with you. It looks like we just <laughs> just rebuilt it. And I don't think you'll be able to see much. But looking into each of the exhaust ports, I can't really tell much. So I'm going to lean on this side. It's probably okay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this side back together and put the exhaust back on it and then I'm going to look at the other side and see if I can see anything obvious. And if I don't see anything obvious, then we're probably going to do a leak down test to make sure everything's all right. All right, so moving on to the other side. Got everything taken off. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to see very easily into any of these exhaust ports either. Let's try and take a picture of them. So taking a look at each of the pictures on the valves, they all looked pretty much the same where they were all black and nothing else other than that except for the very far cylinder number two it had a white ring on the uh, valve i'll pop a picture of it right here so you can see what i'm talking about but i'm not really sure what that means the next chance i get i'll probably call my tuner nigel and see what he thinks about that see what he thinks it might be from but like i said it's the only one that looks like that but other than that i don't really see anything wrong so i'm gonna go ahead and continue into the process of taking the valve cover off and we'll check and see if everything looks good up top and we'll go from there all right moment of truth Let's see how we're looking under here Looks about like the other side, looking pretty clean right offhand. I'll uh, put the camera down for a second and investigate, see if I can see anything abnormal. But from first glance, everything looks pretty good. So I think the next order of business is I'm going to take one of these and put it in the spark plug hole on each cylinder and make sure the valves are completely up. And we're going to see if it sounds any different from cylinder to cylinder to cylinder when I blow compressed air in it. So what I'm hoping to find here is whenever we were cranking it over with uh, clear flood mode engaged, like we just had the throttle pedal completely depressed and we were trying to see if any of the cylinders sounded different than the other, we had one cylinder that sounded slightly off and it sounded like it was just blowing air completely past the valve. But when that said, at the same time when we ran the engine, it sounded completely fine. So we're not exactly sure what we have going on here. So we're just gonna take this, 
little guy and put it in each spark plug hole and make sure all the valves are completely up and then see what they sound like individually. So that way I can kind of get an estimate as to which one I think might be a problem, if any. So we're gonna go from there. So from what I've gathered, every single intake valve has some leakage, but I don't know how much is considered tolerance and how much isn't. But for now, what I can tell is we do have valve leak on each intake valve. But like I said, I don't know if it's a lot, if it's a little, if it's supposed to have some, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and button this side back up, fire it up and see if it still has the same sound whenever we're turning it over with uh, clear flood mode and see if it still sounds the same. If it does, then I think we might honestly just uh, run it this next comp like this and then hopefully the engine lives and if it does and we're going to pull the heads off and redo the valves and everything make sure they all look clean and not like destroyed i'm going to button it back up and then we're going to turn it over and see how it sounds let's see what we got when we give it full throttle on start up and see how it sounds So I don't know how well y'all could hear that, but it still sounds like it has a missing cylinder. I can't tell which side it is. I'm pretty sure it's driver's side, but I'm not positive because with the way the uh, intake valves on the passenger side, the way that they all leaked air about the same amount, I don't think any of them would sound different when hitting on the just just the starter. And I didn't really I didn't do that test on the driver's side, so I'm leaning towards its driver's side, and I think it's cylinder number five because if you watch back and I'll play the clip here. If you watch back whenever we were trying to start it um, right before the dyno you could see uh, few, like fuel coming out of each cylinder or condensation or something you could see it coming out of each exhaust pipe except for number five so i'm leaning towards it's that maybe that exhaust valve just getting ready to for it and fly out or maybe it's just got a little bit of a leak pass i'm not really sure but i'm gonna fire it up and we'll see how it sounds i'm pretty sure it's gonna sound the same as it did before like it's just running on all cylinders so we'll uh, fire it up and see how it sounds all right. Sounded like a four cylinder. Cause somebody forgot to plug in the injectors. Big dummy. Big old dummy. That's what happens when you forget to plug that thing in. I thought to myself, hey, don't forget to plug that in. And what do I do? Forget it any day. Frick. So let me plug that in real quick and then we'll fire it back up and see how it sounds then. Take number two, let's see how it sounds. Hopefully it sounds like a V8 this time. Wait till the screen pops up. There we go, that's fire. There it goes. I guess the next step from here, everything seems to be running all right. Like we said, we had some valve leakage from the intake valves, but we're just probably gonna send it for now and see how it does. So the next clip should be of us doing a rowdy, or well, us setting up to do a rowdy burnout on the uh, burnout pads. We'll, uh, I guess this will be the first time we get to really test our nitrous and see if it'll hold us in second or third gear. So let's get to it. Well, we got the car all set up. It's sitting on the pads with the chain holding it back so it shouldn't slide sideways. And we're gonna put some chocks in the front, but we about ready to go. The only thing we got left to do now is we just got to check that bottle, make sure it's still got enough to actually do a burnout, and I guess go from there. So uh, we're going to crack that bottle open real quick, see what our pressure is at, and then fire it up and let it warm up, and then we're going to do it for Dale. All right, let's see what we got. Open. <laughs> we're just a little bit under nine. So we'll get the bottle torch. No, sorry, just kidding. We're going to get the uh, bottle heater and put it on there because yeah, you're not, you don't use torches. Who, who does that? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead yellow and yellow heater at <laughs> where's the yellow heater at? Yeah, where's that big yellow heater? So we'll heat it up real quick and get it up to temp and let the car well we'll probably do that after we let the car warm up. And uh we'll do a safety check, make sure everything looks good and then we'll frick send it. Sound good to you? I'm gonna frick send it. Just gonna frick send it. Send it. Alright, well we got everything set up in place. We got the bottle heated up to where it should be and uh I guess we're gonna do a final check on it, make sure everything's good, and then I'm gonna take and put it in gear and start the burnout and make sure it doesn't try and go off the pad, and as long as everything looks good, we're gonna send it. So, here we go.
Maybe I should. Oh, frick. We're kind of low. Oh, no, dude. Those tires are gone. Dude, we'll pop them with a frick. In no time. Yeah. We're in third gear and we're doing frick. Gap. Look how low that frick got already. It, it was pretty is. close to frick. Freaking new whenever we done that. So if we're doing that at the burnout pad, we might pop these mother frick. Within a minute in third gear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fast. Dude, that is, that is crazy. Let's look at the other side. Oh, no. Look at all that fresh rubber. Look at all that fresh rubber. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That still looks brand new. Gone. Nah, no, man. No, I don't it's gone. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to say you make way more tire smoke with the mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> way more. Dude, at first, I seen all the smoke like under the engine, and I was like, oh shit, like something yeah. popped off or something, and I was like, okay, it's just tires. Yeah. That was wild. I couldn't see shit. Yeah, hell, he probably couldn't see anything going up the driveway over there. <laughs> there it is. Frick. <laughs> well, we haven't had this truck out in a while. We, uh, we decided we want to try and see what it will do now. So we got the pads, we got the chain hooked up, and we figured, hell, let's see what it will do. So Jordan's going to pilot it real quick, and we'll see what kind of burnout it does. See if we can beat this thing off the rev limiter. Hell yeah. Or not. We'll see what kind of gear it will go to. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this will hold second or third by itself without nitrous. Yeah, it I might. Get, we'll find out whenever Jordan's ready. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, nitrous field backyard burnouts and the uh, seeing the cat eye Silverado on the burnout pads here. Finally getting to do a burnout. So we're getting a little bit closer to doing that. So if you guys want to see that build, uh, just go ahead and like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy the next one too. Hell yeah, we'll see you next time. We'll see you.